Watch no, out, no. watch out, watch out! Kool Aid Man it. Man. What's he what does he say? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's not gonna make it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Today we're building five versions of apocalypse weapons from noob to pro. So the first one's gonna be super nubby. We're probably not gonna be able to survive with it. Then they're gonna get progressively better until the final one, which is gonna be super epic. For each weapon, we have three tests to see which one is the best. If the weapon can smash through all of them, it's gonna be crowned the victor. We're also gonna have a poll. Cute looking poll right there. Click that and vote for which one you think is the coolest. It's not there yet, but it'll be there when it needs to be. For our first weapon, we need to find a little stick. Go, go fetch. A stick. Go run. fetch, boy. What am I? Go here? run. You're go. A dog? Yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. I'm just sick. I don't feel good, so I'm just gonna chill. And they do all the work. Jeffrey? This looks like a good apocalypse weapon store over go here. Go get a stick. Store? If you're in the wild and there's zombies, you, you need a stick. I need to climb up high, that way I can find a good one. Chris, you're Tarzan. Why are you climbing like that? I don't know. Just break one you off. You climb with feet first, you ding dong. Oh. Break a stick break off. Break a stick off. Where's right the there, good right one? Right in front of you. This one? Yeah. Break it. What the? What? You're bendy. <laughs> Stop breaking. Twist it. You stupid stick. <laughs> This is quite this amusing is, though. This is the noob version, so you know, I have to be a noob to get the noob. Chris, thing. I'm very amused. Someone else take over this. Check it out. Ah. All that work for that. Our stick. This is our first apocalypse weapon. It kind of sucked. Hey Jeff, do some cool ninja moves with it. <laughs> One out of 10 survivability, am I right? With this stick. Why are you checking your hair? Because my hair's all staticky. Because your hair's fine. I, I give it a zero. So we're gonna call this. Whack a stick. It's a stick. Uh, it's a stick. It's a stick. <laughs> it's a stick. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're testing this thing. Let's see. So you have to smash a watermelon, a brick, and a door for your weapon to be cherries dunk. I'm standing back, bro. That's a whip. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, it what? It kind of like scratched the surface. It scratched it. Hit it again. Hit it again. Ow! It hurts my hand. Stab it. <laughs> it's so anti-climactic. So anti Stupid brick. Here, Let me hit the door. Let me hit the door. The weapon's breaking. Oh, the stick sucks. All right, do it. Screw the stick. It's a stick at zero out of ten points. You zero will not ten survive. points. You will not survive. Zombies will eat you. You know that song? I will survive. You won't! With that thing. Next weapon. Can I build this one? Number two on the amazing scale, more like the nub scale, is a sharpened stick. A sharpened stick? But a walking hey, stick because that's careful. gonna be more sturdy what than a doing? stupid little stick from a tree. Cool. So I'm just gonna sharpen I'm, it. I'm just making the necessary preparations. <laughs> oh. So check it out, he's just gonna sharpen it. Might wanna stand back. So this weapon is relatively simple to find the materials for. You can find a walking stick at like Walmart or something. That's where we found this one. And it's relatively simple to build. But also, it's not that good. Also light, agile. Very mobile. Lots of good things for this weapon. Can you hurry this up, Rob? Dude, I'm trying. Hey Jeff, don't break. What are you doing? Jeff, what are you doing? <sighs> <laughs> See, with this weapon, this is something you build when you're in the apocalypse and you have some free time. Oh, yeah. there's a plane! Hey! Save us! We need refuge! In it's an apocalypse! Survivor. There's zombies everywhere down here! Five zombies over there. They have green heads and they have white bodies that's sticking to the ground. Okay, that's really nice. Can you stop? Yeah! It's like that lollipop commercial. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Oh, well, it's we're getting, getting short. We're getting there. Very nice. It's almost like a pencil. Apparently, this takes two people to make. Well, my left arm was getting tired from holding it. Rob, if your left arm gets tired in an apocalypse, you're pretty much through, man. Hey, Jeff. What? Simulate a zombie. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you saved me, Rob. <laughs> I mean the tooth. That was an accident. Dude, what's that when my tooth come out? <laughs> I'm a zip biting zombie. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it is complete. Look at that. Let me let me poke it. Ow. So this one's called a slightly better stick. Wait on, do like a little ninja montage. Oh. Yeah! 
Did you just break it? No, it's fine. Did you poke a hole in the trampoline? That was cool. Slightly better stick. Let's see if it does a slightly better job. Ooh, Ooh slightly. Ooh, I like that. More entertaining. All right, should I, should I you know, kind of stab it? Stab okay. it. Stab it. All right. Stand it. You missed. You missed. Uh. Oh. Jeez. Oh. That definitely did the job. See if you can break the brick. Break the brick. What if I go? That's not gonna don't, don't stab yourself. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. All it right. is not. Here we go. Brick time. Oh, what the? Dude! Um, wait, you can make two sharp sides with that. <laughs> well. <laughs> Watch out. Watch oh out! Oh my god! Oh! What is he doing? What the? Oh my god! Hey, Jeff! Hey, hey, you're ruining, Jeff, you're ruining the, the Jeff. purpose of this test. <laughs> ah, well. That's the damage. The center lock broke it. The watermelon, that's history. And then, uh, that's the door. I just get filled with rage. Just kidding, I'm not mad. I'm just playing around. Okay, right. moving on to the next one. It's right in the middle. This is medium. All right, so our next one is made out of pipes. Well, the items for this one are a little harder to find. You have to go to a hardware, hardware store. store. And be an epic master builder. So we have these black steel pipes. Iron. <clears throat> black iron pipes. <clears throat> You okay, uh, you okay there, Jeff? I have a cold. Basically, we're gonna make this sick. Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean you're infected? Did you get bit? Cut cameras, cut cameras! Tighten the, the, these things together. First, we'll build it, and then we'll tighten it all. Um, Wanna make sense to tighten it as you go along? It'll make sense for you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> so as you can see, we got this handle here. It's pretty it's pretty cool. You put these things, they're called nipples. Jeff. Stop laughing, you immature little 10 year olds. Um, but that's what they're called, okay? I have nipples. Chris has nipples. Jeff, stop touching the nipples. Robert has <laughs> nipples. All right, no need to fear. Nipple man is here. Wrong way. This will fit right here. This is one of the, the main smashy spots right here, okay? And then on this side, we attach this. Do you hurry it up already? This is the one who took three years to sharpen a piece of wood. <laughs> this is what it looks like. But I wanted to tighten these before we continue. Because we don't want them flying off. That would be bad, and the weapon would be less good. Yes. Wow, great grammar. Thanks. So if I'm doing this right, you're not. <laughs> Jeffrey, you, it needs to be a little bit tighter. So, so you tighten it before you put it on the pipe and then you get the right size and then you go, ow. Jeff, you're going the wrong way. I'm not. This, no, this. but the wrench is the wrong way. You dingus. There we go. Oh wait, I need to change mine. You dingus. So if we just tighten this, it will be so strong and not even Thor can undo it. Oh, uh, it's kind of, yeah. Kind of difficult. That's on good enough in my eyes. Can you stop that? You guys are doing a great job. It's working. It's working. It's really hard. Dude, this is nice and fun to watch. <laughs> it's you just watching enough. a struggle, Rob. Tightening the nipples, tightening the nipples. Nice and tight. Some tight nips. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now it's all tightened on. The hammer is pretty much complete, but I want to add a cool handle to it to make it extra, you know, grippy. You don't want it flying out and then you lose your weapon in the apocalypse. Plus, we're becoming professionals, and so professionals mm. care about design as well. Yes. We're going to begin to wrap this piece of twine around this handle. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Look at this master craftsmanship That right looks here. knotted up. So, you know what? It's got a couple loose edges with the handle, but we're not, you know, professional craftsmen here. But I did. It's pretty stinking give me, give me sweet. A it has some good weight to it does too. It, does it feel balanced? Does it feel? It feels uh, top heavy. A little top heavy. That's okay. I'm gonna go smash. So, that's what wait, you wait, want. What should we call this one? Oh, I know, I know. The name for this is slug nut. <laughs> you always say the names just all epic, but it just ends up being W. I, well, I got, I got a name. It. We got a hammer. Why not turkey or? No, 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 no. That's worse than mine. Hammer turkey. Hammer turkey. I like slug nut better. All right, all right, we're going with Robert's name, slug nut. This weapon, you know, it's pretty, pretty small, pretty agile. Very compact. Very compact, very strong. So we're gonna rate this three out of five on the epic zombie Ooh. apocalypse scale. Let's go smash. I have a lot of confidence that this is just gonna smash through everything. Ladies, gentlemen, and zombies, here we go. Batter up! Whoa! Oh. Dude, that did some major Dude, look damage. Look how it ripped open look. the side. You got it on my pants. <laughs> look at that nice juicy water bottle. Watch out, Chris. I hope you all are watching this right here. Straight in yeah, half, look at that. Okay. Straight in half. Dude, you hit that in the strong part too. That was good. All right, here we go. 
straight hold on, through hold the on. door. I just want to clarify here real quick. In order for this to be good, breaking through a door, you got to be able to go through it. Might take a couple of hits. Just going down the pipeline. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Kool-Aid man it. What's he, what does he say? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not make it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Ow, I just stepped on a nail. Oh, that went straight through my shoe. Take I stepped on a nail, dude. Take a screw. Oh. oh. Ow, dude. At least it didn't go that deep. I thought I was a Kool-Aid man, but I guess not. And look, it's still it's still intact. So the weapon did a ton of damage. We're not gonna give him the point for going through the door because the whole thing fell down. Anyways, moving on to the next weapon, number four or five. We got this bat here, spray yeah. painted to a nice black finish. We are going to be inserting this machete into the end of the bat. And it's gonna be really hard because Jeffrey didn't get the right saw even though I thought I would get the right saw. So I'll just have to use this one and it'll be difficult, but you know, in the apocalypse, you have limited materials to make your weapon. So first I'm gonna start by spray painting the machete, a nice gold Ooh. finish. So we're gonna be taping this edge here and you probably need a buddy protecting you from zombies while you're doing this. Cause as you can see, I am really focused. Look at Jeff just taking a relaxation station. All right, let's spray paint this sucker. Well, we'll give that another coat in a little bit. We can start working on the rest of the weapon. You know, it doesn't look half bad. And now the difficult part, I gotta cut a divot into this bat here with this saw, so wish me luck. Hey Rob, would you mind holding the bat? As you can see, this is very, very dangerous. Start out nice and slow. Make a little groove for it. All right, and we're off. Off to the races. Did you cut yourself? Shoot! Um, can someone get me a band-aid? Isn't that rusty Someone asking though? for a band-aid in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> You're attracting the zombies. Oh shoot. Well guys, that other saw is not working. Yeah, it's gonna go way too far in the bat. No. So this is our only hope. This could fling the bat. Yeah, Watch so your fingies, bro. Be careful, if you're holding on too tight, it'll we'll pull your hand into the saw. This is hecka dangy. You got it? Do it slowly. I'm gonna go really slow. Okay, I need to go slower. Let's see if this is good. So now we have to drill into the machete. And if this doesn't work, we'll have to find other ways to attach this sucker. That's dangy! Oh shoot, I forgot about that. That's dangy, dude. Put a screw in this. That's what I, need okay. I think it's working. Do it. Bro. No longer working. All right, well, I could not drill through this machete. For some reason, it is super strong. That means that the weapon is super strong. Okay. True. We're going to be using our weapon that we previously built because it's a good hammer. Yeah, just firmly grasp it. Oh, wow. Wow, that That's works solid. really well. Now we're gonna use this towel on the end of the blade so that way we don't chip it. Mama. Dude. Wow. That is cool. That's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty sweet. I think it's in there pretty solid. I don't think we really need to do anything. It's complete. Dude, look how, look how sick that is. That looks dangy, that's dude. Probably, that's probably my favorite weapon out today so far. You know, two pieces, a machete and a bat, but you do need a saw Can to I be see? able to, you know, saw a little divot in there. Dang, dude. What are we calling this one, guys? Uh, Our number four out of five. Has to be a good name this time. Bat Shetty. <laughs> I like it. The bat shetty. No. The bat shetty. No, no, no. The bat shetty. No, 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 no. Home run. Slice. Out of, out home of, slice. Home out, slice. Out of the park. Home slice. That's so dumb. That's dumb. Give me that. Why do you, you have to hold it? I don't know. I get it. The bat shetty. You can't have a sweet weapon and name it something dumb. Oh, bat shetty. Out of the park. Home slice. <laughs> You're walking around the Zion Pogums, dude. That's a sick bat. What'd you name it? Uh, out of the park, home slice. <laughs> be the laughing stock of the apocalypse, bro. <laughs> then you think of a cool name. You I'm tubby. thinking. You're blocking my concentration zone. Five minutes later. We're calling it the Bat Shetty. Let's see if Bat Shetty can cut this watermelon. I still okay, think that's everyone a Everyone needs to stand back because we didn't secure it the way we wanted to. <laughs> oh! Wow. <laughs> Yeah! Dude, I don't know about this. I don't, I don't think it's gonna. I wouldn't try it. Yep, that's uh, dangy. Well, you know what? Okay, okay. You're gonna break the bat. Wowzers. 
Don't do Ow! The force gets transferred to the bat. Bat Shetty fell apart, but it did break through the... The, the hammer did better than Bat Shetty. It broke the brick and the door. Well, actually, they both got two points because... Oh, that's right. It actually yeah. didn't break. The hammer so didn't break So those two door. weapons are tied, actually. So if this last weapon can break through all of them, we will know that it's the ultimate, most amazing weapon. But this one is nice and light, and it also cut through the watermelon it with also fell ease. apart. Well, that's because he was swinging like a lunatic. He hit the brick once, true. Okay, well, we're not trying to kill bricks in the apocalypse. It sliced through the watermelon, which means it could slice through zombie heads. I'm so very- We're good to go. I'm very confident this last weapon will be able to break through everything, though. Let's go build it. The final weapon, the most professional weapon. This is already kind of like the base. We got to tighten it, and we're going to be putting saw blades, bone saw blades, we gotta 30 get, inches to be exact. We got to get here. these blades out, though. And we're also going to make sure to decorate it, make it look nice and cool. That'd be nice and stylish in the apocalypse. So we got silver, we got gold, and we got cinnamon. Oh, it's supposed to be a rust color. Now I got the cool blades out. They're kind of flimsy. They're a little flimsy, I'm a little worried about that. Right, let's see what this is gonna look like. Oh, it's pretty neat. Gold. We're just gonna put a little bit of gold on it, add some nice detail there. Here's what this looks like. That's rusty. very bright. It's very rusty. Throw those on there real quick. That's actually a really cool rust effect. There we go. Oh, a too much rust. I don't know. I don't like the paint on this thing. All right, you know what? Scrap that. We're just painting the whole thing silver. All right, silver weapon with like rusty saw blades. That looks really sick. All right, gotta let that dry. So we gotta drill a hole here and here. And then we'll attach these with little bolts and Dude, those are so rusty, bro. Watch out, don't cut yourself. Ow. All right, let's hope this stupid bit works. I hate bits. We finally drilled through here, so now we can add this saw blade. That rusty saw blade is a nice touch. That is cool. So we got double saw blade action here. Second saw blade. On, the, on the bottom. It's not reaching. You have to force it with by rotating this this way. Perfect. Finally. It's complete. Oh, actually, no, it's not done yet. Now we're going to be using this rope to put a handle on. Very good. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is certainly the coolest weapon we've ever built. This is legit, look at that. Yeah. It's got like the nice rust finish on the blade, silver, and then black handles. Oh, chrome. Show what should we name it, guys? So we're gonna call it Sawzall, even your face. I Sawzall? Think. So let's go see how destruction it is. Sawzall. Dude, this is dope. What the heck does that mean? Sawzall. Sawzall. That's Sawzall. Have you never heard of a Sawzall? It's an actual tool. Let's right. see how it sawzall does. Sawzall or Sawzall? It's Sawzall, but you say Sawzall. Sawzall. It's yeah. Sawzall. So it's Sawzall. sawzall. You can saw it's a dog. Your face. You can saw a it's cat. A you can saw a whale. You can saw a dude. You it's can a saw. Did. A saw did. All right, here we go. Get smashy, bro. Wait, why not hit it with, yeah, hit it with the spikes. But do you see how flimsy this is? Flimsy. It's a watermelon. We're watching, we're, go ahead. Oh, Ooh. wow, that worked. That worked really Ooh. well. Look at this nice slice of uh, pineapple. You're gonna want to use the pipe. <laughs> oh, oh, pineapple. I'm not a watermelon. Oh, that's a watermelon. I'm not a watermelon. Hit it, bro. All right. You're gonna hit it like that? Oh, no. That bent. Oh. It bent it here. No, 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 no. Was, watch. Ready? Dude, I like this weapon so much. Dude, you. It worked. It's, it's good. still good. Don't worry. Don't hey, worry. It's professional and amazing. All right, here we go. Send it, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's falling apart. I don't want to break it. Fall in love with too much with your weapon. It's hard to use it. Then I'll use it. No. Use it. It's fun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Watch your fingers. Probably. Go. It looks like this one got three points. It got, it's the ultimate weapon. It, it, it kind of got a little bit flimsy. Ooh, look, it's like a DNA strand, even cooler. If we tightened it better, it would have been a-okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at all this. Look at all this damage. Weapon number one. It's a stick. Just scratched the watermelon. Didn't, didn't even touch the brick. Didn't even scratch the door. The slightly sharpened stick, it may have gone the watermelon, broke on the brick and it Barely did anything to the door, so it's Come good for stabbing though. The hammer absolutely demolished. Yeah, it destroyed the watermelon, destroyed little, the door. A little slow with the door, only got two points. The fourth one, this guy, it actually broke when we hit the brick, and then the door, as you can see, 
It did some damage. That's history. And our final weapon. It broke the watermelon, the brick, the door, and it didn't break. It kind of bent up a little bit, but it's still the ultimate weapon. Let us know which weapon is your favorite in the poll. Click here for the previous video. Click here for the video. YouTube recommends you click the bell to subscribe. We'll Thank you for you watching. Time. Bye.